In this video, I am going to show you 10 Google Keyboard tricks that you must know. So these are simple tricks which are really easy to remember, but overall, it will enhance your experience using Gboard and it will save you a lot of time when you are typing. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. So the first trick is to capitalize the first letter of a word by long pressing on the shift key. I'll show you how it works. So now I'm on Gboard and what I've got to do is long press on shift and then drag to whichever letter I want to make capital. So let's say I want to make T capital. Then I long press and drag it to T. And as you can see, it's capital. The same way if I want to make let's say P capital. I long press, drag it to P and that's capital as well. The second trick is to capitalize a word after you've written it. Here as you can see, I have a sentence where all the characters are small. Let's say I want to make how capital. Earlier what you'll do is delete how and retype it again in caps. But there's a much quicker way to do it. All you've got to do is select how by double pressing it. And after that, if you press shift once, as you can see, the first letter becomes capital. And if I press it again, all three letters are capital. And this will save you a lot of time. The third trick is a quick way to delete large chunk of words. As you can see, I have a long paragraph over here. And let's say I want to delete the last sentence. Normally what you do is just click on backspace and wait for it to go over the entire sentence. But there's a much quicker way to do this. What you've got to do is click on backspace and slide your finger to the left. So now I'll click on backspace and slide to the left. As you can see, all these words are getting selected. And then if I release my finger, it's gotten deleted. So this is how easy and quick it is to delete sentences at a go. The next trick is a quick way for you to access special characters on your keyboard. So normally what you do is click on the small button in the bottom left and then that'll take you to all the special characters. But there's an easier way to do this. All you've got to do is long press on that button and then drag your finger to whichever special character you want to put. I'll show you how it works. So now I've long pressed and as you can see, I can select whichever one I want. So if I want AND, I can just select that. Or if I want ADD THE RATE, the same way I long press and drag to ADD THE RATE. The next thing is the text editor. So I'm not sure how many of you all knew, but Gboard has a built-in text editor and it's extremely simple to access. All you've got to do is click on the three dots that are over here and then you'll find an option called text editing. So just select that and here you can see all the options you have. So if you want to move the cursor between lines, you can use these arrow keys. Then to select words, click on select. I can go down and let's say I want to delete it. I can click on backspace or if I want to copy, paste, cut, I can do all of that from here. So this is basically like editing on your laptop using your phone. And something similar to this is using your spacebar to control the cursor. Again, it's really simple. If you just long press on the spacebar and then swipe to the left or right, then you can move the cursor between the lines. So now I'll press the spacebar and drag my finger to the left and right. As you can see, I can easily move between different words of the sentence. The next trick is making use of the clipboard in Gboard. So if you just click on the three dots, then you'll find an option called clipboard. And you'll have to enable it by clicking on this button, which is on the top right. But this clipboard is extremely useful. So I'll show you one way you can use it. So one way you can use this feature is if you want to send a photo from the internet to somebody. So normally what you do is go to your browser, then download the image, attach it and send it. But if you use clipboard, you won't have to download the image and it'll save a lot of time. I'll show you how it works. So here I have this photo and let's say I want to send it to someone. What I can do is long press on it and just click on copy image. So now it's copied and if I want to send it, I'll just click on the three dots again 
then go to the clipboard and as you can see the image has come here so i'll select it and click on send and as you can see without downloading the image it's sent the next trick is using google translate when you're typing so if you click on this button over here then you'll see the translate icon over here and as you can see i can type directly into this and it'll translate it into the language i want so if i want this in spanish i can just click on hindi change it to spanish and now everything i type will immediately get translated to spanish as you can see it's changing as i'm typing another simple but useful feature is one hand typing click on the three dots and then just click on one handed and with this you can reach the entire keyboard just with one finger the next trick is creating shortcuts for phrases which you use often and it's extremely simple to get this you just have to go to settings so click on this button over here and then click on the settings icon after that click on dictionary which is over here then click on personal dictionary and here you can create your own shortcut so click on the plus button on the top here you have to type in the entire phrase so let's say i want to create one for happy birthday i'll type that in and then on the shortcut i can just type hbd so now i'll show you how it works so now if i just type hbd as you can see the option happy birthday has come here so the same way you can give shortcuts to many phrases and the last trick is converting your handwriting to text so this is one thing which i find really cool and i'll show you how it works again go to settings then click on languages which is the first option on top then select the language and here you'll see different keyboards but the second one is handwriting so just select that and now click on done so now i'll go back and show you how it works So now I can change my keyboard by just long pressing on the space bar and then selecting English UK handwriting. And now I can write over here. As you can see, everything I'm writing is coming on top. So these are basically all of the tricks and if you want to know Google search tricks then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.